There's a number of ways that you can develop educator expertise around universal design for learning. I think the first and most important is to help teachers connect UDL to what they're already doing. For example, in one county where we're working, they have just launched a teaching and learning framework that's new to the district. So helping folks see how UDL fits within that framework is essential because that framework guides everything that they do. The, the other piece is more concrete and it's giving teachers very specific examples. So after you've learned about the UDL framework, here is a tool that's going to help you design a lesson. For example, we have the UDL Lesson Builder and we ask teachers to uh, design a lesson using that tool and if they're not 100% comfortable with UDL yet, there are scaffolds that are built into that, reminding them of the UDL principles, taking them out to the guidelines, linking them to digital resources to provide multiple means. That's really important because it's concrete and they're walking away from a session with something that they've already done. Professional learning communities, or PLCs, are fabulous ways to provide people with a structure for learning more about universal design for learning. Some of the schools that we work with already have PLCs set up around other content areas or subject matter, so the teachers are familiar with the PLC model. There's other schools that have never even heard of a PLC before, so you have that extra step of introducing what is a PLC, how is it different from a teaching team or a study group, and it's really important to emphasize that a PLC has that same shared goal at the end. It's important to also provide incentives for teachers for participating in the PLC beyond just the you know, internal motivators for joining a professional learning community. Some of the districts that I've worked with have been very thoughtful about the time that they give to teachers. For example, they do creative scheduling, they think outside the box so that there's common planning time. One of the districts has provided substitutes so that teachers can take some time during the day to learn more about UDL and uh, spend more than just an hour. They can really kind of roll their sleeves up and, and get into it with a little more time. For after school professional developments, all of the districts have made sure that they provide teachers with stipends. Uh, something else that's been very uh, useful for teachers is to earn credit towards continuing education or even a master's degree. And there's multiple options for that. So just thinking outside the box is really important.